Earth may be dying. Space. Oh, the moon's there. Didn't see that before. <laughs> Some are looking offworld for a fresh start. Nice the spaceship. for land and resources out here is brutal. Brutal. In this winner-take-all environment. Man, this off-world trading company. I'm Table. This is the game I just said. Can I just say that this game is very stable. That even lets me record an intro because I don't edit my videos. So I can just play the intro, start rec recording. I can press keys to record and it doesn't skip it. And I can go straight into the game. It's just like a really nice start for me to do the recording. So I've not fully played the game yet. I'm still going through the tutorials. Paulo Rubini. If... um. Teach you how to win so much it will get bored of winning. Oh, this game is just staggeringly good, absolutely staggeringly good, and I haven't even played it yet. I can't, can't wait to start knowing what I'm doing and playing. Paulio Rubini, Rubini sounds a little bit like Jarvis. With Rudini, Martini, Seneca Development, the generation of great capitalism. Okay, who? Oh. Fantastic start. We have, we have here is a beautiful start in our new Harlem business. You've got a good supply of resources uh, that our customer needs, and we are on track to re for record profits. The problem is that we have the competition for their attention. Uh, we have competition for their attention. That means uh, we have competition for their money. Our goal is to become New Harlem's exclusive producer. Okay, fine. The desire for regardless of circumstance is the driving force behind human ambition. We need to identify high-priced goods required by the colony and be able to beat the rivals to the punch. If we're able to outproduce and outsell our opponents, we'll reap the benefits of success. The goal is not just to be greedy for money, but for their business. Okay. You can clearly see that some of the most expensive resources are food and electronics. Yes. Um... We should quickly build more farms and factories so that we can produce, uh, take advantage of these prices. We'll give you a nice influx of capital immediately, as well as opportunities to expand our sales into the future. Let's not count our chickens yet. Get a move on. Sure. Oh, I need more claims, okay. Ooh! Does the building actually upgrade as you go up? It does! I didn't notice that. Never noticed it. Bang. Booyah! Um, electronics factory. That can just go anywhere, can't it? Do I already have an electronics factory? Um, don't build it on the resource. Uh, I'll just go there. Why not? Yeah, that's fine. Right there. Bang! Uh, can I build anything else? Oh, I can build another one. Sure, why not? How many do I need to build? I'll oh, build three. Okay. Sure, buddy. I love putting them together and getting the bigger bonuses. However, different types of building, more pros. Ah! So if you, it connects to your colony, you don't need transportation. That I didn't realize. You only need transport if it's far away. <coughs> nice hustle. I knew Macy's faith was not in, was not in the misplaced. Take a look at the list of names in the upper right corner. You'll see everyone who's fighting for New Harlem's business. Me, Rennie, Sam Marie, Marino, and Silas Krakakan. Fine. Each company has 10,000 shares available for purchase. The dollar figure is per share value for each company. Okay. I see my name up there. Shares of a company can only be purchased in a thousand share blocks. Each of those blocks is represented by 10 blocks underneath the share value. Uh, at the moment, you own 4,000 shares of your company. Most companies own a few blocks of their own stocks. You can buy 1,000 share blocks uh, of not only your company, but any company competing business in your region. Okay. Initially, it doesn't make sense to drop liquid assets into stocks, but you have to realize that stock ownership is equivalent of control. Take note of the way the stock blocks are divided in the middle. If your opponents are ever able to buy open stock that exceeds your mark, you lose control of your company and become a subsidiary of your rival. Oh my, that's so good. 
Once you acquire 50% of your company, that majority ownership is given special status. You control of that company cannot be removed by buying one additional block, but must but must deny only one fell swoop, a hostile takeover. Okay, got you. Buying stock from the company's founder also accuses uh, accrues a double payment. So any additional stock you purchase becomes a firewall, protecting you against being an easy target. Okay, fine. Is it time to buy stock? Do I need to sell some shizness? Yeah, sell some of this stuff. Uh, shift. 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 Uh, bingo. Right. Bye. Prang. Yeah, lockdown. Lockdown. Congratulations on being the majority shareholder of your own company. Our controlling interest would cost a rival over three, three thousand. Okay, so, uh, three hundred forty-seven thousand to purchase. Uh, sort of. Uh, hang on, let me figure it out. Uh, dry on, dry hundred thousand, vier, vierzehn vierzehn sechs thousand, vier hundred sechs sechzig. Sort of just kept away at bay for a bit time to evaluate our opponents and spot potential weaknesses. At the moment, Renny6 has both the cheapest and most uh, stock available. Sam, did they say? No, Renny. Okay. We've already got a good amount of production dedicated to food and electronics. We're going to need more glass moving forward. It looks like the price is going to remain strong for the foreseeable future. Let's stay ahead of the curve and commit and increasing our glass production. We have some plans before upgrading, so don't squander your last claim yet. Okay. Ah, so you've got your claims, so you can't... Once you produce a certain amount of stuff, you, can, you can't really do it. I see, okay. Glass kiln, where do they go? Uh, I totally forget where they go. There. Yeah, it is on silicon. Okay, fine, good job. Build a glass kiln. Oh, no, wait, that's wrong. If I build... I mean, it let me build it on the resource, so does that mean I'm getting it direct? I think I made a boo-boo. I don't know if that was a good move. It says it's producing glass though, so that's fine. Sell 10,000 worth of resources. Uh, sure, I can do that. Uh, let's just go. Uh, no, uh, bruh, bruh, bruh. Is that not 10,000? Done. Buy two blocks of ready stock. Bug, bug. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps we're not progressing as quickly as is required. It is our weakness that makes you act with such aggression. It is not work here releasing an. Uh, it is our work here releasing an undue burden from your do doorstep. Let's continue work. Recesses of array of vials. Consider another t target with your ambition. Okay. Fine. Remy6 seems to have stumbled out of the gate. It's really a kind kindness to buy him out swiftly. <laughs> On the subject of speed, it's time to consider building an off-world market out of all the advanced buildings. It is most in, most costly to construct and is worth every dollar. The platinum rush in the asteroid belt has made certain miners wealthy. We help them unload their newly found riches and provide them with life support and other supplies. Ooh. The off-world market is a launch platform that can deliver resources to asteroid mining facilities. You can take a look off-world prices by selecting the rocket icon uh, in the lower left. Uh, ah, okay, yep. Ooh! Um, you can take a look at it anywhere and you can see how much more food is worth off-world than on Mars. The potential profits are so good you should start construction of an off-world market immediately. Uh, you can go right there. Bang. The off-world market is a real game changer. By being the first to construct one, you're painting a bullseye on yourself. Ah, I suggest that you veil your off-world market from sight and try to remain under the radar. This is where the holographic technology can play a vital role. A hologram can be obtained from the black market and allows you to disguise your off-world market as something more innocuous. Ooh. That's friggin' awesome. Friggin' awesome, that is. I love that. That is so good. You can hologram your building so it looks like something else. Glorious. 
I do love the icons pooping out like that. It's so good. Seems you can build a kiln right on top of a, a silicon deposit. I'm not so sure I can do that, but I think I've messed that up a little bit, actually. Can I buy any more stocks? I can buy one in myself. That hologram will protect you from some unwanted attention. Let's take advantage of this brief window to rake in the dough. You can pull up the off-world market shipping controls by either selecting the building or the rocket. Okay. No. Uh, okay. The leftmost prices are the resources value off-world. That's the initial number compared to the Martian prices. The other numbers are the profit from the shipping that from shipping that particular good. Each shipment costs 20 steel for the rocket and 20 fuel to launch it. Okay, fine. Green means profit. Remember the successful business is run by decision makers, not mathematicians. Ah, bingo, there we go. Right, so. Launch uh, 100 food. After you set up delivery from the off-world market, you have to wait for the rocket to be prepped and loaded. Personally, these are the moments that make me the most excited. It reminds me of when I got involved with the venture to begin with. You have, have to be careful not to relax though. Even though we look to be the poised to jump ahead of the competition, we must remain ever vigilant and jealously protect our advantage. How do we do this? Hmm. Uh, instead of micromanaging individual launches, you need to know how to set up a series of repeated shipments. This begins with pulling up off-world shipping controls instead of clicking once on the order of a single shipment. You can shift-click a resource and create a repeat order. As long as the shipment is profitable, a new launch order will be given to an off-world market. The beauty of this is the ability to queue up different resources and watch the money come rolling in. That is beautiful. How do I do it? Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That was a well-deserved and properly earned pile of cash. Now you need to decide what to do with it. We could take these profits and invest in growing our infrastructure, but it's pretty clear that Ready6 is in trouble. I would suggest we lend a hand. Do not confuse help with a bailout. We need to help ourselves in their moderately priced stock. By doing so, we can aid Remy6 in a much-needed vacation. <laughs> Fine. No, can't buy the last one. We can't afford to spread ourselves too thin, especially with aggressive stock purchases that will give our rivals a common enemy. Let's stick to the script and focus on tasks at hand. Will do. Uh, shift click, wasn't it? Uh, is that now automatically doing it? Looks like you're going to put Renny6 out of business. I can't say I disagree. I figure I'd help speed this process along to ensure that the conversation the conversion to you, as to your subsidiary, wasn't just uh, a benefit to yourself. Hopefully you'll appreciate this kind of gesture and perhaps return the favour sometime down the road. Oh! What effects lead to such a cruel set of reactions? This was never a predicted outcome. My operation procedures were clear and my execution was without flaw. The models and forecasted outcomes were well within the margin of error. Please do not initiate my early retirement. <laughs> Good work to left to perform. Fine. Obviously, Renny6 has bigger problems than mismanaging resources and an underdeveloped communication chip. It's time to pull the trigger and buy the six block of stock. Once you do that, Remy6 will be removed from the equation and the business will become our subsidiary. We won't be in direct control of their assets, but the subsidiary does provide a steady revenue stream. Awesome. Ah, look, he's doing it every minute. Bingo. Good. Okay, that's sorted. Can I build another rocket? Oh, it's not going to let me, is it? Damn. There are a few things sweeter than removing a business from the control of a poor manager. Don't get drunk on your success yet. There's still quite a bit more work to do. Remy6 made himself an easy target. I can't guarantee the other two won't go down as easily. That's why we have to build to our success quickly. Upgrade an expensive HQ. Start construction on another off-world market and improve our production across the board. Sweet. Um, upgrade. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. A robotics HQ has been upgraded. Bang. 
Can I hologram it? No, I can't. Building off world market, doing it. Greenhouse farm. Bingo. Uh, electrolysis reactor. Does that need to go on water? I think it does. Or oh, maybe it doesn't. Where are the other ones? Um, do I need to build it on water? I don't know. No, I'm just going to do that. Okay, done. Build a power generator. Um, oh, geothermal vent. Are there any nearby? Bingo. Yeah, give me that. Dunk. Don't mind if it does. We are in business. That is still building. Just sending off food every every once in a while. Steel would be good. I wonder how much steel will sell for. Let's buy a share. The market is finished and awaiting orders. Oh, that one's sending. No, no, no. You... I want you to send 100 carbon. That's carbon, right? Yeah. Oh, electronics. 10 grand. What's that? Food? Food is 25 grand. I'm just going to stick with food because food is by far the most lucrative one. I'm going to keep sending food. Double food, that's 50k. 50k at a time. I'm not going to quibble at that. I'm going to buy some more stocks in my own business. Yeah. A scientific HQ has been upgraded. Ooh. Have you got a good taste of what it's like to be winning yet? Wait a minute. Do you even know what our corporate goal is here? I rushed ahead to implement a business strategy without first breaking down the high level objective. You need to acquire our competition, which will secure an exclusive trade arrangement with New Harlem. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to get hostile with the parolees. Sam Moreno has already demonstrated a desire to play rough. Their connections with the black market should really dampen our momentum. You're going to try to move quickly, hopefully avoiding a protracted battle over company ownership. I suggest that you utilize the black market to purchase, purchase an adrenaline boost. It's a safe and legal stimulant that enhances productivity. Fine, stimulant. Uh, what should I stimulate? A scavenger HQ has been upgraded. Okay. <laughs> I want to buy my last stock. Yeah. Here I was believing that we were all friendly and whatnot, working together to take out that good for nothing robot. I'm not sure why you kicked over this particular hornet's nest, but you've got my attention. What happened? <laughs> uh, you should consider having us... Uh, why is my debt 260? Oh, because I'm producing... I need water. It's not letting me do water. Uh, I'm not sure... Blah, blah, blah. You should consider leaving a speed, perhaps even diversifying yourself. Divesting yourself of your interest in us. Ooh. Awkward. Those five blocks of shares... Sam was able to buy her just enough to protect her from losing control of her company. Our only option is to take her company out in the, out of the equation by staging a very expensive hostile takeover. Instead of buying one block, you have to buy these five remaining blocks as a set. They cost us twice the usual price as well. Woo! Whoa! Small setback. Seems, <laughs> seems to me that someone should be a little bit more careful with the refueling of the delivery rockets. Here's a well-known fact you may not be too familiar with. Jetfall is quite flammable. Perhaps uh, you'd like to move your focus from an aggressive and unwanted business takeover to taking better care of your business? <laughs> they just smack talked me! Oh, come on! <clears throat> I was hoping to avoid this kind of violent activity. There's really no way around it, and reclamation industries is not known for their subtlety. We got so caught up in outselling everyone, we forgot to protect our second off world market. Thankfully, the other one is still going strong due to the hologram. After this aggressive move, the stakes are clear. Time to end this. Okay, fine. You're mine. Bang. Thank you. Can I repair that? Or does it just stay burning for a little while? What do I do now? Oh. Water pumps. Yeah, give me water. Loads of water needed. Oh, you won't let me do any more. Uh, elemental quarry. Uh, what's this? Iron and carbon. Iron and carbon and silicon. Everything's needed. Um, what's that? Uh, iron. Can you? Oh no, silicon and carbon. Uh, silicon. What's carbon's grey, isn't it? What a payout! 
Yeah, there's carbon. And it's... Oh. It's done. Right, so I'm absolutely minted now. Why can't I... Uh, why can't I... You know. HQ has been upgraded. Cutthroat skills. I knew you had it in you. This kind of relentless drive I wish I, I could instill in all of my employees. No matter how often I tell them, tell the team to be on their to be their own CEO and their own outcomes, they still don't get it. Okay. Don't get too carried away if you ask over our success. With the burning pile of rubble that is our off world market, we need to get that uh, repaired and back online. Silas Krakon has left alone has been left alone and if we allow him to get his re research on he'll quickly surpass our production capabilities keep the financial pressure going okay oh, I bought his share <laughs> fine why can't I buy shares in Remy make room for the profits how do I repair ah, there we go repair that can I build anything no which Repair the off-world market, purchase filthy pirates from the black market. What do I need to do with them? Let's make sure we can take care of our investment this time. Uh, I'm pretty sure Krakaran doesn't know about our hologram protected off-world market. So all we really need is to do is hire goon squads. Get on that and do not delay. We want to make sure that there isn't a delay in getting both off-world markets fully operational. Okay, fine. Goon squad, get involved, goon, that building. Uh, it's got a build, I guess. Uh, repair off of market. It's being repaired. Use pirates near Silas Krakakran. <laughs> we need to make sure that Krakakran doesn't uh, isn't able to get his footing uh, to put up a fight. Many a hostile takeover is followed by a speedy recovery and a focused response. It's safe to bet that he has a goon squad protecting his off-world market. You should consider investing in a slowdown strike, which is available on the black market. The target will be a, uh, influenced by a local union representative, which will disrupt the output of work. This approach bypasses any goon squad protection. Okay, that's fine. Right, so. Filthy pirates. No, wait. Uh, goon squad. Bang. Protect it. Is it already been protected? Okay, fine. Uh, slow down strike on Crocorans. Where's his rocket? There it is. Jig. Yeah. Uh, filthy pirates. Uh, let's go. Let's go there. Pirates. <laughs> Less than expected. This is typical behaviour reserved for the in... I don't even know what a word means. Inca crack 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 They are really so desperate to stifle our progress that you would res resort to such depths of depravity. I guess your behaviour proves that the line between criminal and corporation has truly vanished. You may hinder our progress at this moment, but realise that science and knowledge will ultimately prevail over the greed and ignorance. Okay. All of Crookhound's available stocks have been purchased. The next block of stock you buy is under his control. This will cost you twice the value because you're buying from a controlled shareholder. Our focus uh, will then shift to buying the rest of the controlling interest in this company out. The purchase of the set of five blocks of stock will result in another hostile takeover and will ensure that we are an exclusive provider. Bongo. That didn't go so bad, did it? I didn't use my goon squad. Uh, all of Crocodile's available stocks have been purchased. Uh, the next block of stock that you need to buy is under his control. This will cost you. I've done that. I've done it. I'm done. I've bought it. Oh, I've got to protect with my goon squad. Launch affirmative. What a payout. Okay. Solid. You stayed focused and energized, uh, and you made deal after deal until your rivals ended up being subsidiaries. This is the kind of approach you need to continue. Uh, with if you plan on setting up a winning streak. In fact, if you follow the, in my footsteps, you will soon, you will so often and consistently uh, that you'll get tired of winning. Yeah! Whoop, whoop, whoop! <laughs> That's all the tutorials. Uh, F11, little photo. Man, it's good. It's good. The game's good. I can't wait to fight some human players, man. I'll do the custom matches as well for a giggle. But man, that's good. Ah, I've been Table. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>